Am I the asshole? For babysitting my friend's kid and refusing to leave when his GF asked me to? So I have a friend who asked me to look after his son for a couple hours. He said he'll pay me 10 euros hour so I accepted. While babysitting his son, his girlfriend came over and was surprised to see me. She asked what I was doing here and I told her I was here to watch his son. She then asked if it was like a last minute thing because his mother cancelled. I said no, he asked me about a week ago but I don't know if he previously asked his mom. She said that's impossible because not even two days ago he told her his mother was watching his son. So I was like well the only thing I know is that he asked me to babysit, said he'd pay me so I accepted. She got mad and asked if there was something between him and me. I denied, repeated that I'm only here to babysit and that's it. She said that since I knew he was in a relationship, I should have declined. So I said like listen, I'm sorry he lied to you but I'm only here to get paid. She said that nobody except to look over somebody else's kid only to get paid. I said um yes, people who want to get paid do. She said that I was playing with her, that if I was respectful of their relation I'd leave. I refused. I told her if she's so mad then she could call her BF and demand an explanation but I was staying here to do what I was paid to do. She left and I didn't hear from her again, until recently. She texted me saying that I would never babysit for her boyfriend again and that he agreed with her on it. I didn't replied because I really don't care, I'm not even that close to the guy and like I said, only wanted to get paid. I was paid and that's it. But when I talked about it to my mom and sister, they said that I should have left when she asked me, to avoid any drama between them. I said that's not my problem. I got asked to watch over a kid, I accepted. If her boyfriend decided to lie to her about it, it was not my fault. But now I'm not really sure and I just wanna know. Am I the asshole? For babysitting my friend's kid and refusing to leave when his GF asked me to? Edit I texted him about what she sent me to make sure he knew. I'm currently waiting on an answer. Edit he saw but didn't reply, I tried another text but I doubt it'll work either so, I guess that's it. Edit because I saw that it made a few people confused, she is not the mother, just his girlfriend. Not the asshole there's a reason why the BF didn't just ask the girlfriend to watch the kid. Clearly she was available, so there must have been a legitimate reason he felt she wasn't capable of watching him. You were paid to be there and not by the girlfriend so you didn't have to listen to her request to leave. Not the asshole and I would not have left either. You were asked to be in charge of this kid's safety and well-being, that doesn't get passed off to some random girlfriend because she demanded it. Your responsibility to the child ends when the parent of the child takes back the responsibility. Not the asshole. Imagine being so insecure in your relationship that you deny the existence of babysitters. Not the asshole and it made me laugh. She really thought there was something between you two because you were babysitting and not his mother? While he was not there? She's so ridiculous and so is her boyfriend for agreeing with her. LOL. Not the asshole if the parent is paying you to look after their kid you don't leave because someone else tells you to. For all you know she could be shit at looking after kids or may have dropped the kid in the past. If the BF doesn't want you to babysit then it's on him to tell you so, not their GF who is clearly just pissed that her BF lied about the babysitting arrangements. You got paid, it seems unlikely you will be asked again, but it sounds like they have plenty of problems in their relationship so you don't want to get in the middle of that shit show. While the father was away. The baby was your responsibility, and you stayed with it. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. If the GF was so sure, she should have called him and asked about taking over babysitting. I'm not turning a kid over to someone without the parent's approval. Mom and sister, they said that I should have left when she asked me, to avoid any drama between them. Your mom and sis are wrong. She is not the mom and maybe she wasn't supposed to be there.
maybe he doesn't trust her, and that's why he needed the extra help. You had a job and did it. Not the asshole. Not the asshole your agreement was with him and you accepted responsibility. She isn't a parent and leaving could have been considered child endangerment. Her personal feelings about another woman shouldn't affect your responsibility towards the child. Hell, no. Not the asshole. You had an arrangement, you had every right to be there, and if you left there was a chance you wouldn't get paid the amount you were there to get. Not the asshole. If he trusted her to watch the kid he wouldn't have hired you. GF really displayed all the red flags of the relationship in one interaction. You were employed by the father of the child to babysit the GF had no part in this transaction and should have taken her issues up with the father, not the asshole. If you had left, was the GF planning to watch the child for the rest of the time? Does the father trust GF enough to watch the child alone? I know you can't really answer these, just a couple of rhetorical questions I had, upside down face. Not the asshole. She said she was his girlfriend, but how are you to know? Perhaps they broke up the night before. Perhaps he had good reason not to ask her. He has asked you to look after his kid, and you had agreed. Not the asshole. As Maud Flanders says oh, won't somebody please think of the children. Clearly someone was needed to watch the kid. The father thought you were the best person for it. Now his GF is mad because she wasn't asked. If you had left, you would need the father's permission first. That's the deal with watching kids, the kid comes first and the parents make the decisions. Not the asshole. You would have been an R if you had left when she asked. She sounds cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and who knows what the status of their relationship was or what sort of weirdness she had planned. Why is she texting you with this instead of the boyfriend? I'd say you're well within your rights to accept another babysitting job if he asks but this crazy broad would probably set the house on fire or cut your brake lines. Not the asshole. You were hired to stay for X hours by him. She has no say in it furthermore, you don't know their situation 100. She might not have been supposed to be there, anyway. If he asks again, I just decline and stay out of that. Not the asshole you would be if you had left though. You did exactly as you were asked and paid to do. If he'd wanted her to watch his child, he would have asked her to. There's a reason for that. You did the right thing. Holy crap she's 25 and acting like that? Yeah not the asshole. That is embarrassing for her. Not the asshole. You were being paid to be responsible for a child. Only the kid's parent can change that and she was not that. Not the asshole. The kid needed a sitter. Was she going to stay and watch him instead? Regardless, you were paid to watch him. You were doing your job. She said that nobody except to look over somebody else's kid only to get paid. Does she not know what a babysitter nanny is? There are people who literally make babysitting childcare their official job. Not the asshole. His girlfriend was obviously an R to you, but their entire problem is entirely between them. I cannot believe anyone is telling you that you should have left the child who was in your care with someone else, obviously against the parents' wishes. That would not have avoided drama, that would have been you reneging on an agreement, being irresponsible, and possibly endangering a child given that this woman is obviously nuts and doesn't believe babysitters exist. Not the asshole. Your friend asked and paid you to watch his child. Not her. You. You were the one chosen to be responsible for a four-year-old. For all you know, she can be not capable, irresponsible, or whatever. There is a reason why she was not asked, and you were. He is the parent, not her. He makes TGE decisions on childcare. Not the asshole, that's an issue between the GF and him. You did the right thing by not leaving because he left his child in your care. Not the asshole. Relationship issues are above your babysitting pay grade. Not the asshole. You were invited to be there by the person who pays the rent. If her name isn't on the lease which this story doesn't make it seem. She can't order you to leave. 
she's pissed her power trip fizzled because she's not the kid's mother, and has no authority over anything. Probably best to block that clown's number especially before he asks you to babysit again. Not the asshole. TBH, it was smart not to leave. Let's say something happened to the child, and he has proof of you accepting responsibility for said child. You could be on the hook for liability. Your mother and your sister are out of their damn minds. I'm not saying this is the case here, but imagine the following my GF has a little bit of a coke problem, so there's no way I'm leaving her alone with my child. I'll hire my friend instead. My GF has an anger issues. I don't want her babysitting. I'll hire a friend. Then imagine you're leaving the kid with this person because the GF was so upset. You did absolutely the right thing in fulfilling your responsibilities to this child and his dad. Not the asshole. And please tell your mom and your sister that they're absolutely nuts. Not the asshole but out of my own curiosity did you ever find out why he lied to her about the babysitter lol. Not the asshole. Your mom and sister are flat out wrong. You leave when the person who hired you tells you to leave. If someone else requests you leave, you verify it with the person who hired you. Mom, sis, and girlfriend are TAs here. If the guys does ask you again, do tell him no it's hardly worth the money for that much bullshit on top of caring for a four year old.